Somebody want to tell us what the hell is going on here? <laughs> there is an explanation for this. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to try. I think it would be a waste of time. Well, well, <laughs> this must be quite a moment for you. Chase finally at an end, Montgomery, standing over your prey, victorious. Oh, All hail Rose. the conquering hero. Oh, Sam, uh... How did he do it? Did he tell you that I was back in my hotel room waiting to make love to him? He became off limits, didn't he, and therefore irresistible. The idea that he could find another woman interesting just really brought out the trash in you, didn't it? Don't. Don't you get me started with you. <laughs> Let's try to remain rational. It's a little late for that, isn't it, Craig? Uh, what was I thinking? You two are obviously incredibly compatible. You belong together. You deserve each other. And after everybody hears about this nauseating display, you you'll be stuck together. Do you want him, Rosanna? Is that what all the hysterics are about? You want him? Here, take him, honey. Be my guest. No, 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 no. I, I have too much self-respect for this, really. I am the one who knows how to control myself, remember? Yes. And I'm the one with the life, remember? Oh, what life are we talking about? Your clueless boyfriend who has no idea what you're doing behind his back or your often neglected, illegitimate child? Or the fact that you're unemployed and unemployable? Oh, what a shut life. Up. Just shut up and take him, all right? Ladies, <laughs> ladies, fighting uh, over me. You're the one that enjoys meeting him in secret and private and keeping him on a string. Well, good luck. I wouldn't want to deny you your guilty pleasure. Please, enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful life. Oh, Rosanna, Rosanna, Don't you Rosanna. touch me. I wish you hadn't seen that. I wish I'd never met you. Hey. Hey, you want to tell me what the hell you were thinking? I didn't mean for any, any of this to happen. For him to kiss you or for you to get caught? I'm kind of anxious to hear the answer to that myself. Hey! Zip it! Hold him, please. Please, please, please what? Please forget I saw what I saw? Please, for, please, please don't tell Jack? I mean, am I getting close here? What? I never wanted Craig to kiss me. He, he's drunk. And he's stupid. And he doesn't know when to take no for an answer. I did try and stop him. Will you tell him, Craig, please? Oh, yes, those two open-handed slaps to my face. Right. I came here to, to meet with Lisa. I don't care how or why. Whatever you did with Craig, that's your affair, Carly. Exactly. There is nothing going on between us. Good. For your sake, I hope it stays that way. And for your sake, I'm not going to tell Jack what I saw here today. I know how you operate, which is why I'm not blaming you for what I saw. Because I know that you would never turn on Jack, especially after everything he suffered through to bring you home. Oh, so I'm the big bad wolf and Carly's the little red riding hood? Did I coerce you, Carly? Did I force you to give in to those basic instincts you don't want anyone to know about? Here's a basic instinct. I hate you. Is that basic enough for you? Go home, Carly. Craig and I have a few things we need to discuss. With pleasure. Discuss. Okay. Is this you sticking up for Jack, or are you going to offer me advice on how to conduct my private life? It stops being a private life when you start leading it in public, but that's besides the point. Which is? You got one heck of a lot of nerve taking the moral high ground where my son is concerned. When you can't go 10 minutes without proving to the world what a sleaze you really are. I should have known this is about the prodigal boy. I got a piece of advice for you. Think twice before you ever threaten my son. Thank you. And also, um, I would very much like it if uh, you could wait to send the bellman. I'll call when I need him. Thank you.
It's Barbara. <laughs> now it's not a good time for me, Barbara. Rosanna, I wanted to talk to you about your offer to back BRO. <laughs> it's been a long time since anyone's offered to help me, and I just declined your offer in haste. Please, Rosanna, let me come in and talk to you. <laughs> Why? You were right. You thought I was motivated by something beyond professional interest, and I was. It was a game. I lost. It's over. No one to cut your losses. I thought the big rule in business was always having the guts to back out of a deal face to face. <sighs> you leave me alone, Barbara. I have nothing to give. Rosanna Cabot leaving town with tears in her eyes? I'm not going anywhere until I find out why. Hi, Jack. I was just thinking about you, and that is a very bad thing because I was just going over the same sentence over and over for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> hey! How'd you meet with Lisa go? Tell me everything. I want to know when the new Carly Tenney sportswear line's coming up. Never. If Lisa has anything to do with it, she was a no-show. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Hey, li listen, you know what? I can call her. Uh, why don't I take a break? I'll track her down for you. Or I can take a break for something more special. <laughs> hey. I love you. Oh. I love you so much, Jack. I love you, too. And you, and you know that there is nobody else in the world for me, right? You know that. Do you believe it? No matter what. Hey. Holly. Honey, you're scaring me. What's going what, 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 what could have happened that would ever make you question? Yes, yes, no matter what. Tell me. Craig kissed me. Oh, that's... Is that it? No. Jack, I kissed him back. I wanted to tell you myself before you heard a warped third-party version of what happened. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's back up. Did you go to meet Lisa or not? Yes. I went to Java Underground to meet Lisa, but she wasn't there. Craig was, and... Somehow we got to talking, and all of a sudden he comes out with the fact that Rosanna was back at the Lakeview waiting for him to, to have some kind of night of torrid sex. Oh, I see. You kissed him because you knew your sister was, was waiting no. in bed for How him? could you even say that? No, I'm just trying to figure out how you could do something like this. I don't know. I was angry. He was baiting me. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, or even if I was thinking at all. The next thing I knew, he was kissing me. And I slapped him. You slapped him? Yeah, I did. Go on. Well, he tried to kiss me again. And I slapped him again, even harder. And somewhere in there, Rosanna and Holden showed up. Right. And you stopped slapping and started doing whatever it was that Holden and Rosanna saw when they did show up. I never meant for it to happen, Jack. Mm. I swear to you. All I know is that it... It was, it was happening. Mm. Well, how, how did it stop, Carly? Did you slap him again? He slapped you? Ha, huh? what happened? Holden said something, so I knew we were being watched. And, and what if he didn't? What, what if he didn't walk in? What if he didn't say something? Would, would you and Craig still be there? No, of course not. Oh, yeah, well, how do you know that? You don't even know how it started. So, uh, so how all of a sudden do you know that you would have stopped it? Jack, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. I know that. You stay here. I'll be right back. Jack! Jack! Where are you going? There's something I need to take care of. 